Well, Opossum's back in Vaston. No, we're not overdoing the barracks over at the North Gate. I'll do that, but I've been asked to do the gates down here at the South and the East, so that's what we'll be working on today. Um, I'm going to do most of it by replay because one, it takes ages, and two, got a lot of noise going on today, and that's okay, but I want to make them similar to the North one, but not the same. So let's get started. Let's see how it turns out. Southeast gate. Let's have a quick look. Oh, we can get rid of this. The bridge is no longer out. In fact, we've got a drawbridge. That's what I made. Someone else can worry about where the road's going. I believe that's Denisy out there beyond the wall. Country estate, perhaps? I'm not sure. We've got little towers. And you saw me doing a spiral staircase. This comes from Biz Rebellion 82. I love his little spiral staircase. He's got a tutorial for it. I will see if I can find it. If I can, I'll link it in the description. And then if we come up here, we can call out who goes there, who calls so loud, etc, etc. We've got murder holes. And in case these get taken, we can see through to the top of them to fire down into the top of the tower. Let's see if we can do that. Can we do it? Yep, no problem. Anyone having to come up there to attack this doesn't stand a chance. Okay, so out we come, out through the wicket gate, in the gate, so that if it's closed we've got egress. And that's the southeast gate, done. And yeah, we've got murder holes up there that we can drop things down on. Haha. Uh -huh. I've got to bring the wall up. But before I do that, I'm going to pack up and we're going to head over to the south gate proper. So here we are. This is where it's going to go. Uh, there's going to be a market square here, I believe. But I need to get rid of the wall and then we can work on the gate. 
All right, there we go. We are now ready. As I said, each gate's going to be slightly different, but in order to make this one different, we've got to do the bits that are the same first. So if you're ready, one, two, three. Ta-da! With the back done, now it's time to do the front. And I didn't want square towels, I wanted D-shaped towels. It's quite simple to do, straight at the back, curve at the front. And once you've got the curve right, just build it up. I'm not thrilled with the crenellations at the top, but they'll do for now. And with one done, it's a simple matter to just copy the second. And you can clearly see that they are D-shaped towers. I'm really happy with those. And build out the bridge, which I have realized I'm watching this is useless. Nothing's gonna get under that. I'm gonna replace it with a drawbridge. Planning the towers, I quickly realized I have to do the gate first. So here's the gate arches, same as ever an inner arch and an outer arch. And because this is the Barbican, it's narrower than the full gatehouse. So here's the second archways. And that gives me the width for the towers. Which I can now start planning. This took a little while. I didn't want them too big. I didn't want them too small. I did want them more rounded than they turned out. They are now what they are. But once I settled on a size, it was a simple matter to just build the tower itself. The zombies like it. Now it's just a matter of finishing that tower, building the second one and finishing off the top of the gate. But you've seen me do that before. Well there we are, that's the Barbican. Oh, a big task and I had to keep switching replay off because it was taking me so long and I was sort of freaking out about how long is it going to be and I'm back and forth and blah 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 <laughs> so the barbican's quite simple it's just the portcullis really and a gate shape and I'm going to build another one over here we'll just come over here hello turtles I'm going to build another one here over the mouth of the river just to stop easy access to the river mouth. And I've got to shift that wall. That'll all happen. It will not happen today. I have had enough. This has been, oh, this has taken me several weeks because I've had to keep coming at it in bits and pieces. You know, I do two or three hours of building at a time and then I have to take a break for a few days just because life gets in the way. So I just feel like I've been building these gates forever. But... Here's the Barbican. It's supposed to be a rounded tower, but it's ended up just looking like a tower with the corners cut off. <laughs> ah, it's my fault. I could have made it more rounder. I could have made the towers bigger. Nah. We'll go up though. I'll have a quick look and I'll show you. This is for the gate to come down, the portcullis, sorry, to come down into. But I mean, both towers are the same. So we'll just go up one. We've got this little floor here. We'll come up, we've got access to drop things down on people if we have to. It probably should be on the, oh, have I built the portcullis on the wrong? No, I've built the portcullis on the right side. I'm just, don't worry about me. <laughs> but we've got loopholes so we can fire through at people. And every single floor has got loopholes on this side and on the river side. 
So if we come up, I mean it's not much use at this point, you can't actually see the river. But we can come up here to murder holes, so we can drop things down on people attacking the portcullis. Uh, and then right up the top here, we can drop things down on people who are in the river. If we come over here, can we fire on people in the river? I don't know, that might be an oversight on my part. Mm, yeah, we can't really aim at the river. Oh well. Oh no, we can through there. Yep, yep. And we can aim at ships out there. And we can drop things down on more people and we can fire out here. And full access across the top to the second tower. And I've deliberately made this lower than that. So that should this get taken, people from there can fire on here. So here we are. And the idea for this is anyone coming in for the market or coming to town will be aware that this town is defended. You know, that's what the message of the Barbican and the gatehouse and what will eventually be a taller wall and the Barbican there, that's what the message will be. This is not a drawbridge, it's just another one of those bridges that can be taken out if it has to. And then we've got the proper gatehouse, so we've got the big gates. I haven't put in trapdoors or siege equipment up there yet, I will get round to it. But other than that, this gatehouse is completely done and it's the same as the others. And I've sort of cleaned up my stuff in there. It's a bit of a chess monster at the moment. And I have to raise this wall and bring it in to join up with the gatehouse on both sides. But oh, Gator Palooza is finally finished. <laughs> I don't know what I'll be doing next time. The Barbican, the barracks, something unrelated to defences, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's the back of this. I should have shown you up there. Basically it's the same as here, but we've got a big central hole in the middle. So if this gets taken, anyone from the gatehouse can fire at anyone in there. So that's it. Oh, finally done. Thank you for joining me on this marathon while I'm working out what I'm going to do next. There are end cards on the screen. So you can have a look at what else I've been up to and I can work out what else I'm going to do. <sighs> See you next time. Bye.